Hey everyone, I'm Chef Tony from Homehead Chef, and today we're making country style hash brown casserole. If you're not familiar with hash brown casserole, it is hash browns in a rich and creamy cheese sauce with a crispy topping. It is excellent for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, cookouts, special occasions, get togethers, so let's get cooking. For this recipe, you're going to need one bag of shredded hash browns or diced, one pint of sour cream, two cups of cheddar cheese, one can of cream of chicken, a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, a stick of butter, and one cup of cornflakes. You can really customize this recipe by adding in jalapenos, bacon, or anything that you like. All right, first things we need to do is get the oven preheated to 355 degrees. Now while that's heating up, we're gonna go in with our sour cream. Our cream of chicken soup. Get this nice and mixed up. Gonna go in with our onion powder and garlic powder. Some salt and pepper. Perfect. Get that mixed in. Now with our cheese. All right, with our stick of butter, we're gonna wanna butter down the casserole dish so it doesn't stick. Make sure you get the sides and the bottom very well. Just like that. Now we're going to want to fold in the hash browns. Now if these are from still frozen, they're gonna, it's gonna take about an hour in the oven to bake. If you leave them out for a little while to thaw, it will take less time, which is what I do. So I'm gonna get this all incorporated and covered Now, this is where you'd want to add in your bacon bits, peppers, onions, jalapenos, ham, anything that you can, that you like to eat, you can definitely mix into this. And it will be amazing. All right. Now into our baking dish. I'm gonna to wanna to spread it evenly. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. We love hash brown casserole. We have it pretty much at every cookout that we have. It's a big hit. So if you're gonna have it at a cookout, I recommend you make double. So that way you have some for the next day. Now with the rest of that stick of butter that we use, we want to melt it, melt it for the topping. All right, our butter is perfectly melted and we're gonna go in with our one cup of cornflakes. We wanna give that a mix. Get all coated evenly with the butter so it toasts up. All right.
Perfect. Just like that. And straight into the 350 degree oven. We're gonna check back on it in about 45 minutes. All right, 45 minutes and this is where we're at. Doesn't that look amazing? Now let's plate some of this up and get a bite of it. All right. Now doesn't that look great? All right, let's get a bite of this. Mm. It's rich, it's cheesy, it's creamy. The cereal adds a nice crunchy texture to the top of it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If so, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for stopping in and we'll see you next time.